What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, this is me on my pet peeves part two. So let's jump right into it. I already did part one. If you guys haven't seen part one already, go and check it out. Let's get to it. Another pet peeve of mine that I have is parents let their kids do whatever they want at a restaurant. You know, you're over there enjoying your meal, eating, you have little kids running around the store, not the store, but the restaurant. Like it's a fucking playground. You know what I mean? They're running around, playing, and everything, and yet the parents don't say a damn thing to them. It's like, parent your kid, tell them to sit the fuck down. You know, I'll never allow to do that. You know, ever. Another thing I have, the same situation at a restaurant, is uh, when the little kids, don't know how old they are, but was it seven, drink like five cups of chocolate milk and five cups of hot chocolate and they don't want to eat because they're full or there's a stomach curse. I'll be like, yo ass eating this meal because I paid for the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like sad how... The parent let the kids do what they want. If you let the parent let the kids walk all over them. It's sad, but who am I to say anything? You know, I'm, not, I'm nobody saying anything to parents but raising the damn kids. Another thing of my pet peeve is uh, when you're at the movies, movies over, light comes up, and the theater is destroyed. You know, I've seen kids pour the popcorn on the floor and... Their parents don't do nothing about it. They just, it's okay. They get paid to clean up their mess. Just pick up your own damn mess. Still, I never ever once in my life left a mess at a damn movie theater. You know, it's just sad how parents raising their kids nowadays. They got no home training. They got no common sense. They're so damn disrespectful. You know what I mean? Another one is... uh when the parents let their daughters dress how they want. You know, parents don't realize that we got some sick pigs out there. We got some sick, twisted pigs out there. And yet, they want to send their 13 year old daughter out into the world with tight ass shorts on that shows her ass and a skimpy shirt that covers as much of her body. You know, it's like. Why? Knowing that we got pigs out there that do that, that pisses me off. When I see that shit, it's like, how can your daughter leave the house like that? My daughter will not be able to step one foot out that house, dressed that way. Another thing is uh, going back to the restaurant deal. Is uh, when the kids make a mess all over the floor, and the parents don't clean it because they say that the people get paid to clean their mess. That is the most bullshit thing I've ever heard in my life. You need to clean your own damn mess. I don't care where I'm at. I can be by myself. I have to pick my mess out for myself. I have to do it. You know. That's just me. I don't know how, if other people do the same thing. But that's just the way I do it. Another one. Is uh, showing your kids bad examples. I hate when I see that mess. Example. What I mean, I was at the bank recently. This lady dropped a hundred dollar bill on the floor. Before I could say anything, the lady in front of me picked up the hundred dollar bill and put it in her wallet. And her kids right there. Her son is from about seven, her daughter about three, maybe four. Why show your kids that mess in the first place? Why not show them honesty? You know, the lady turned around and said, Did I drop any money? The lady goes, No, he dropped no money. Show honesty, you know what I mean? That's why these little punks are the way they are nowadays, because the parents don't raise them right. They don't show their kids, you know, common sense. Yeah, I want to say something, but that lady that was in front of me, that's what the bill part would go from my mouth, she literally ran out the bank. And it pissed me off, but. Like I said, who might say anything? Another one of my pet peeves, man. I got a lot of pet peeves that borrowed the hell out of me. You know. Is, uh. I got so many, I don't know what to say no more. 
It's when their parents tell their kids it's okay to express yourself and do whatever you want. You know, why would you tell your kids to express themselves? You know, I had a really good friend in high school. I'm not going to mention her name. Got to respect the half of her. Straight A student. 15 years old. Straight A student. Even got scholarships and everything to high end colleges. She winds up getting pregnant and drops out of school, and mom is okay with it. That should encourage you to go to school even more, finish school. But yet, parents of the kids is okay to do whatever they want. I don't mind it. You know? Even let parent kids smoke and drink. You know? I was smoking a cigar one time. Not a cigar, but a cigarillo. A prime time. This kid comes up to me, 14 years old. Asking me, can I have one? I was like, have one what? He goes, a prime time. I said, yeah, you damn mind, fool. I said, how are you? He goes, I'm 14. I said, yeah, I ain't going to give you a damn prime time. You know, why would you let kids smoke at that age? I didn't start smoking until I was 18. So, but like I said, who am I to tell their, their just parents how to raise their damn kids nowadays? It just pisses me off to my bones how much he parents of the kids get away with everything. You know? But that's it for today's video, guys. This is my, more of my pet peeves. That's basically all of them. So if you haven't seen part one yet, go check out part one. My next video, I might even do a game review on a game I play on a daily basis. So yeah, see you in that video. Until then, take care and God bless.